Everybody gets Sarx approval, just as I already said. You get Sarx approval, you get Sarx approval, and you get Sarx approval. So yeah, just as I said, everyone should be happy right now. Don't What's think- Sarek? I don't want Sarx approval! Go to sleep! Hello guys, it is me, Hepasarek, and welcome back to another episode of Last Earth Survival. So right now, just as usual, we're gonna start off this video by doing a blind raid. I have not done a single research on this base. But already, guys, what I can say about this base is that most likely I have not raided it because I think I would have remembered this layout because most of the bases look very, very similar and this base looks like it is something else. Okay, so I'm gonna place one C4 and while that base is gonna explode, I'm gonna try to place one more C4 back in my chopper just to not explode any extra extra walls. Okay, so this dude is gonna have like, what, four chests over here, and before you guys start opening up other chests, I would like to run around- Oh, so I don't even have to use another C4. Can I? Can I? So most likely I have to run around- Oh no, he has even more stuff over here. Okay, I did not even see. Wow. Usually these bases are just clumped up into one place, and they are, they're not gonna have like separate rooms, so I'm like almost certain that I have- that I have not raided this base in the past. So I'm gonna guys chop down only this one level one wall, and I think maybe here he's like, gonna have some gardens, maybe Maybe some sort of a chopper or whatever. Yeah, this was just like some sort of a bait room. I don't even know why he has it. Should I open up like this corridor? I think we'll be able to open up all of the chests and all of the walls. So I am gonna open up this corridor. Maybe he's gonna hide here. So I'm not. He doesn't hide here or anything. It's just all for the memes. It's just bait, baby. So I want to get inside of that base, but how? Okay, so this is how I get inside. There are his gardens then, but I want to go from the other side. Maybe there's going to be like a level two wall or something. Okay, so apparently I'm not going to be able to open up these walls from that side. I have to go outside and chop down like those spikes because I didn't want to make any extra noise. But oh, in this place, he's going to have an extra chopper and plus he's going to have one canister of gasoline. So we're going to take that. I'm going to guys chop down like this. A spike trap. So we're gonna deal now with this wave of zamzams. Let's shred them into tiny, tiny smithereens. And while we're chopping down this wall, I think it would be a perfect moment to remind you guys to smash that like button on the video. Thank you guys for all your support. I really, really appreciate that. So I didn't have to waste one extra C4 and plus we're gonna get three extra chests. So let's try to open up guys this chest and let's see what kind of goods are we gonna get inside. I already like this base because it has a completely different layout and I didn't have to waste two C4s for it. So that's always nice. I mean, I'm gonna bring a little bit of food. I'm also gonna bring a little bit of water. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, wash my chopper with that. Maybe I'm even gonna wash myself. And another wave of Zamzams. Let's do a snap transition. So here we go, guys. Zamzams are completely sleeping. Let's keep looting our chest. Okay, inside of this chest, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna get one bandage, one first aid kit, a little bit of duct tape, and I am gonna take that shovel because shovels are pretty useful. Like in that swamp location, you can dig out like those fuel briquettes or whatever. So I do want to bring that with me. And inside of this chest, guys, we're gonna take, like, two broken glocks. I mean, I wouldn't probably take them if I had something else to bring with me, but it looks like this guy doesn't have lots of great stuff. So, I mean, I'm gonna take that. At least something. At least I'm not gonna come back home empty-handed. And so far, this base isn't that amazing. I mean, I'm literally getting the lowest of the lowest rewards possible. Okay, so we're gonna chop down this chest. And over here, we're gonna get a couple of bricks. And again, this would be... I mean, let's do snap transition. We'll continue our talk later. So, Zamzams are sleeping here once again. And what I wanted to say is that if I didn't have here any bricks, this would be a really nice raid because like what to get stack of bricks you need to like waste two stacks of simple limestone so this would be a seriously nice raid but we already have lots of and lots of bricks so i don't really need this but i do know that for those people who are gonna get let's say a brick raid but they don't have any bricks this would be like heaven and uh nothing. Okay, so I mean, we can take like these five orange tickets and that's pretty much it. I'm not even gonna take like these green tickets because we have lots of and lots of like hundreds and hundreds of those green tickets at the base. And you know what? I mean, I didn't really get lots of great stuff. So this base does not get Sarex approval. Really sad to start this video by not approving a base, but hey, it is what it is. So we are back at the base here and just as I promised, we're gonna wash my chopper. Boom, almost nothing changed here. Like this rusty dude is gonna stay rusty all the time. I don't think washing it is gonna make big of a difference. And we're also gonna wash ourselves. I don't think I've washed here myself for quite a bit of time now. La 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 la! <laughs> Please refer to me now as a comedic genius. So now, guys, welcome to the farm location. We haven't done farm here in quite a bit of time, I guess. So today we're going to be doing it because just as always, I want to go and prepare for one more raid. We have to deal with three bulls. But while we are here, I still think that it's always worth it to go and open up that blue crate because I still require one more mod from this farm location. I need like that purple mod for my machete. And a lot of you told me that you indeed have received like that purple mod from this place. So I'm going to try my luck and get it because 
some of you have gotten it, maybe I'll be lucky enough and we'll get it today, and today's gonna be like a really, really awesome day, but honestly, I have like zero hopes that we're gonna get it, I think that there's something wrong here, maybe in my account or whatever, maybe I'm just not lucky, that's why I'm never gonna receive like that purple mod, because I've opened here a bunch of and bunch of purple crates and I still have not received, guys, a single, like that purple uh, machete mod, and at the same time, it's relatively easy here to do this farm location, and again, I'm just mentioning that this is not the most efficient way to do the farm, I've made a couple of videos already on how to do the farm really, really efficiently. So this is not the efficient way. Don't take it as a tutorial. Oh, Sark just blasted this entire farm with uh, shotguns and whatever. I have to get shotguns to do it. No, you can actually do this farm just with melee weapons and whatever. It's not that hard. But uh, okay, so there's lots of these guys. You know what? We could probably re-enter this zone, but I am too lazy to wait for these loading times. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is go here to the cor corner. I'm just waiting until my spread shot is just gonna reset. Boom, we've put all of them here to sleep because we do have a spread shot, so why not put that spread shot to use. But if I was a little bit more patient, it would be a lot smarter just to leave that area and then come back here again because these guys would have despawned because if they spawn here from these haystacks, you can actually leave your place and they would despawn. And actually what I would like to say now about this farm is that I got pretty lucky because I found like this blue chest on my first try. Usually I have to roam like around this entire farm just to find like that blue crate. But I was really lucky and uh, yeah, I'm fine. So we'll be able to do like this farm location really, really quickly. And after that, guys, we're just gonna go for one more raid. Hopefully this raid that we are about to do is gonna be a lot better than the first raid we've done today, or should I maybe hope that it's not gonna be worse, but at the same time, I mean, that raid didn't even get Sarek's approval, and to get Sarek's approval, as I already said, it's really easy, like, the raid has to be, like, 4 out of 10, like, sometimes it's even 3 out of 10. Sarek's approval is kinda unstable, if you still haven't noticed that, but yeah, hoping that the next raid is gonna be a bit better. Again, guys, I should probably take here my sneaking skill to sneak behind, like, this Savage Giant to do, like, a little bit of damage, and yada yada, but ain't nobody got time to switch, like, those sneaking skills. I really wish that we could set up like two of our active skills on one slot like if there was like a quick slot or something to change like those buttons if you could swipe up or whatever because it's really annoying to get to your backpack just to get like that sprinting skill okay so now guys we're gonna try to deal with revenger my man revenger we're gonna put him completely to sleep and again i usually don't even mention that because most of the people know this but just in case if you do not know it's really easy to kill a revenger this is how you have to kill him you don't even have to use your katanas obviously you can use whatever other melee weapon you have you can also even kill him here with your fists as it's totally possible, but I would suggest you like using some sort of broken melee weapon because killing him with fists is gonna take a lot of and a lot of times and the longer you kill him, the higher chance there is that you're gonna make some sort of a mistake because sometimes even for me, like your guy's just gonna get stuck or whatever and you're gonna get spitted in your face. You might lose like your armor or whatever and using here like some sort of a baseball bat or whatever is definitely gonna speed some things up. Okay, so... Uh, I should probably go here. Oh, no, I want to take my melee weapon. Let's take this, baby. Boom. We're gonna put him just to sleep. Here goes. So inside of him, we're gonna get, guys, only 10 pieces of cloth, no bones. It's not like we need bones in this account anyways, because we have lots of and lots of bones. And technically, nobody needs here lots of bones, because I'm not really sure the amount of bones you actually need in this game, but there are only a couple of mods that require, like, some of these, like, big bones, and that's it. After you craft, like, those mods, you will not require any of those bones at all. I think there are only a couple of mods that require it, like, that spear mod, I think, is gonna require a couple of big bones, and then there are a couple of bones required in that pipe mod, and that's it. Other than that, there is nothing else where you could use, like, those big bones. So we're gonna deal with this, right, Yokel? I'm gonna put this Savage Giant to sleep, and I just realized that I need to save my weapons to deal with the with the bulls, because the only reason why I basically came here to this farm is just to deal with those bulls. If I'm not gonna deal with the bulls, it will be very, very sad. So we're gonna, guys, take these weapons. I'm gonna take my Uzi. So this is gonna be, guys, second bull. Oh, no, these guys came out of nowhere. What? We're gonna, guys, gonna deal with this rotten yokel, this rotten yokel, and uh, this infected bull. Wait, I actually gotta heal up, otherwise he might put me to sleep. So we're gonna deal with them very, very quickly. Okay, so this dude went to sleep. A savage giant came out of nowhere here once again. Have no idea why. Now we can hop inside of like this place boom so i still need to deal guys with one more bull and i think i'll be able to find him somewhere there and like whatever it's gonna be pretty easy i just don't have to forget it otherwise this entire tri trip to the farm location is gonna be 100 percent useless let's deal with this guy let's deal guys with the savage giant here we go and it's always worth it to loot these things. And it's always, guys, worth it to loot here these two chests, whatever they're called. Because sometimes you can get here good stuff. Like, for example, this dry food. It's it's useful to get your true friend Doggo. I'm not really sure how much uh, that dry food is going to boost your 
chance to get like that true friend dog but okay guys so it's not even a chance to get your true friend dog it's just a chance uh, to get higher rank when crossbreeding i mean it's still probably better it's still worth it to feed your doggos with dry food when you're trying to get like true friend doggo or whatever i mean whatever we're almost done here all i need is to take my uh spread shot we're gonna take probably a revolver because why not i also want to eat a little bit of beans for the lot guys let's take now this blue box let's put it over here and let's hope that i might get here a purple blueprint even though i'm almost sure that i'm not gonna get it okay before i go there i just realized guys one thing because maybe we're not gonna kill all these savage giants so i actually gotta go and find one more bull. I think this bull is gonna be guys over here. So we're gonna deal with him just like that with my revolver. I mean, revolver here isn't the best weapon and don't get me wrong guys, revolver is not bad, but the only problem with revolver is that it's kind of rare. I mean, if it was a lot more common, then hey, a revolver would be pretty nice weapon. But as of right now, you can only get it like from those floppy crates. It's not bad, definitely, don't get me wrong. It's not bad, but it's super rare. That's why I don't think it's that uh, amazing weapon. Whatever, let's deal with this infected bull sleep. Sleep, here we go. Bull is guys totally sleeping. Three bulls are dealt with. So technically we could even go for the raid right now, but it would be a sin to not open up that blue box here. Let's do like that, baby. Boom, we're gonna take a spread shot. All I'm just doing now is waiting for all of these guys to attack me. I'm gonna deal like with this right and yokel. Okay, so more of these right and yokels are coming in. Oh no, oh no, I just almost got stuck and that farm opened up. Very epic. I don't think that farm has opened up now in a really, really long time. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is do a spread shot. Almost all of them went to sleepity sleep. Uh, my armor is gonna get shredded here any moment. So what I'm gonna try to do is deal with all of these right and yokels. Then we're gonna exit this place just to reset all the savage giants and then i think we're gonna lure those savage giants baby go to sleep go to sleep what about my spread shot? okay so my spread shot, guys is gonna reset very soon so i think it would be even more efficient to just run like this and spread shot them and they're still alive some of them guys were still alive this is crazy okay this dude went to sleep sleep and another guy went to completely sleepy sleep here we go i just exited and came back here to this farm location this way all of these guys are just gonna reset back to their place all of them are just gonna stand close to that like blue box and it's a lot calmer so i'll be able to gather all of them at the same time then we're gonna run down to leave them over there and then i will open up that box and finally guys farm opened up even though it doesn't happen that frequently, at least for me. But I think this is the first time that farm opened up in a really, really, really long time. And just as you can see, guys, I gathered all of these savage giants. There's a lot of them. Like, probably you could kill them a lot more easier if you would just sneak behind all of them, blah, blah, do some damage. But I think it's not really that worth it to go and kill them. As you can, like, say, a couple of melee weapons uh, with not fighting them. Even though you can definitely wall trick them. But it's totally useless, guys. No point to wall trick these savage giants when you can just lure them here like that. So I'm just gonna go to the very, very top. Obviously, would love if I had my sprinting skill, but I don't have it. I'm just gonna... No, I, there's no way my sprinting skill will activate in a perfect moment. I mean, I kind of activated, so it's still good enough. Here we go, guys. We are at the blue box. And uh, no, a machete blueprint, but not the machete blueprint that I need. Uh, I don't need that. Let's take this, guys. Uh, some of other stuff. Copper. And I mean, I don't need anything else. Even that tactical cap. We already have enough armor. So we'll have to do, guys, again, the same thing. We'll have to gather all of these savage giants. And I'm gonna put them once again over there. We're gonna lure them. And then I'm gonna hop inside of, like, that barn just to see what we'll get there. Because for those who didn't know, there are actually two places where you can get gas tanks and chopper parts for your chopper. You can get chopper parts here from the farm location. Like if that barn opens up, you're gonna hop inside of like that barn. There's gonna be that chopper, you'll open it up. Sometimes you can get there a gas tank. Sometimes you can get like a couple of engine parts. Sometimes a chopper fork. You can basically assemble your chopper just from the farm location if i'm not mistaken but that would be really that efficient just to do the farm to assemble your chopper because you can get a bunch of chopper parts from orange crates and red crates at bunker alpha so make sure to do bunker alpha and farm location to get all of these items uh, let's get my puppy and now guys let's open up this chopper and let's see what we're going to get inside of my chopper probably a gas tank and uh, just a chopper wheel uh, an engine part and that's it okay so technically guys you cannot assemble your chopper with only farm location because there are going to be some other things that you'll, uh, your chopper will require probably a couple of ball bearings and like those a simple level one backpacks which you're not obviously not gonna get from the farm location but other than that if you're like if you don't have some luck with a particular item then hey make sure to do farm location because some people still don't know that because back in the days you could not go to the farm location to get your chopper parts so just as i said guys welcome back to one more raid and i already don't like it i already hate it i already hate it i mean we're gonna get here uh, one wheel that i'll be able to give to jennifer to get some stuff but oh no this base doesn't have a single chest so far so i think this is another one 
one of those bases, at least very similar base that I've raided in the past, because I think before I had to chop down a chest, a, a wall, and then I saw that there is no chest, but I think, I think, uh, yeah, guys, so here we go, we have another base over here. I'm still not really sure if I raided this base in the past, if I did or I did not, maybe it's just something similar, I could probably remember really perfectly that when I raided that other base that it didn't have any chests, I think I had to chop down a couple of walls, so maybe it is a different base, maybe it's not. Again, don't judge a book by its cover, but like, dude, the cover, this base doesn't even have a cover, right? This is like seriously Debo's garbage cover that you can imagine. Whatever, what I'm gonna do is just leave all of my C4s and whatever, I'm gonna bring that with me, maybe I'll get rid of it. Just gonna double check the truck, okay, just some water, we don't care about that water, but honestly, this base so far looks like very, very, very huge doo-doo. I mean, we can get like three chests over here and that's pretty much it. And look at this. This is kind of really smart, except I don't really think that that would work, guys. So don't repeat this. But look at this. This guy placed his CP radio over here. So technically, you could go, guys, and chop down like this level one wall from over here. But you would not be able to go, guys, and chop down like this CP radio. And you would not be able to go through here. But our bases are not rated by real players. Our bases I rated by AI. Our bases I rated by bots. And I am almost certain that there's a chance that if they would chop down that wall, they would still be able to get their your chest. I think something similar happened here in my base because some part of my base was like blocked off by some sort of some sort of building that you cannot physically chop down. But raiders still got to those chests, so I wouldn't guys risk doing this. Maybe it works, maybe it does not. I'm not sure. But maybe somebody already tested that, and you already know that hey, bots cannot go like through this CB radio. But I wouldn't suggest that, guys. Don't risk it, as who knows what's gonna happen in the future or whatever. Whatever. Let's guys open up another chest. And we're gonna get here a shotgun and an M16 and some aluminum plates. Okay, okay. So even though I said don't judge a book by its cover, but hey, we already guys started getting a little bit better stuff. And I think we rated that base in the past. Uh, I think we did. I mean, we're gonna get an engine part, uh, some other stuff here. I have really bad memory with those bases. Like every base looks the same, except like this base. It looks something similar, but I'm still not sure if I rated it or not. I think I did. I'm like 80% sure that we rated that base. We can get a couple of rubber parts, baby. Let's take that. So we're gonna chop down guys one more chest here, I think. And that's gonna be pretty much it. Let's get here some steel, some turkey, and uh, that's it. So we're gonna exit this base. I don't even want to fight them. So this base, I don't think it's gonna get Sarx approval. Like, I was not able to fill up my inventory. And my goal to get Sarx approval is just to get some good stuff to fill up my inventory. But that mindset is kind of flawed. Because if I'm gonna get, like, a stack of steel or something, obviously that base would get Sarx approval. And here I've just gotten two guns. So, I mean, obviously could have gotten worse base. I mean, I don't know. I... This base gets Sarx approval because why not? Here goes Sarx. Everybody gets Sarx approval. Just as I already said, you get Sarx approval, you get Sarx approval, and you get Sarx approval. So yeah, just as I said, everyone should be happy right now. Don't what, think. Sarek? I don't want Sarx approval. Go to sleep! So I highly suggest you checking out my The Long Dark Let's Player. Click here on the second card and you'll go to my Scrap Mechanic Survival Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. <laughs> yep.